the game. I was expecting Radcliffe to perhaps show a bit of dominance early on, but it's, it's been an Ashton who have had most of the ball. Well, here's Radcliffe on the attack down the right hand side. He comes inside the, the man spinning. He's the number 10 who has a shot. It was Jack Hindle who spawned and had a shot and he had to be tipped away by Martin Pearson. The first real shot of the game. That, that 20 minute mark is such an important point, especially in a cup final. If you get that 20 minute mark at nil nil or, or even one nil up as, as Ashton are playing and they could possibly be one up. It's a massive thing. Here's Jack Hindle looking for Elliot Rockery. The penalty area onto his left foot. But he goes wide of goal. He has to turn back. Links with Nalache. It's a great ball in. Oh, and he's it Burns who has fluffed his lines. Luckily for him, he was offside. Oh, oh my what a word. chance that would have been if he was on. Had a brightish start. Sort of faded away, as did the whole of the Radcliffe side as Ashton continued to push. But again, Radcliffe coming back into it. But here is Ashton with Smith trying to keep the ball alive for his colleague, which he does. He's now played over to his right-hand side with Daniel Regan. He's got the overlapping Kringle with him. Regan's gone for goal. And it flies over the top from 25 yards out just to the right of the penalty area. The ball is back with Lachlan who thumps it downfield. Looking for the flick on there was Riley. Who comes up for Ashton. Webster loses out to Raheem. Who hoists it in the air. And Howard heads it for Ashton. Raheem nods it down to the latch. It's picked up by Rocker coming in. Field off the left hand side in a bit of space. He chops inside. Back up to his right foot and having a drive. Ooh. And it's flicked over the top as well by Martin Pearson. Out for a corner, but great play from Rocker. The first time he's had a bit of space and worked it open. And it's a really well hit shot that had to be deal dealt with in the end by Martin Pearson. Through the legs and somewhere to win another corner. Quite, I think we've seen the majority of chances come from set pieces so far. Even the half chances. Yeah, even the half chances. Again, you're looking, or for Ashton, you're looking at how Pearson decides to deal with this. Players bunching in the middle of the penalty area. As the ball goes in, it's a deep one over the initial head. It's an overhead kick by Hindle. It's wide of the mark. Again, decent set piece opportunity. Be interesting to see how attack minded Ashton are in this second half. They, they put a lot of players forward for the set pieces. Left three players back, uh, which I think well, was their tactic in the first half. Plenty of threat uh, inside the penalty area as well. So the corner from the far side, whipped in, got in, Hannah, and it's just evaded the man at the back post, Callum Wilson. I think it was Holden who got their first, got a flick on. They're coming over to near side with Elliot Rocker, floating around all game, pulls a dangerous ball back to the edge of the area, clear behind for another corner. But Rocker, dangerous again, pulled one back to the edge of the area, and I think it was Jack Hindle who pulled away. Lucky to swipe on home. Yeah, it was a lovely cutback from Rocker. More of a driven delivery this time. It's coming to Hindle. He's about to sweep it home, but it's excellent covering. I think it was by uh, I think it's by Watson. He's another one that's been all over the place for, for Ashton. Short and Nalachi. Raheem's got a bit of space. Raheem's gonna hit it. It's deflected, it's saved by the goalkeeper. It comes out off the goalkeeper. And it's turned home. And Rocky Borough have the lead. Trying to work out who scored the goal. It's Jack Hindle who's got there to tap in. It was hit by Raheem from about 20 yards. Took a deflection, which made it awkward for the goalkeeper who could only parry. And Hindle was there to thump it home and give Radcliffe Borough a lead 12 minutes into the second half. There's no surprise that Raheem played a massive part in the goal. And again, he turns up at left back there and does his defensive duties. It was Hindle's third goal in the tournament this season. Here's Kasani spinning, shrugging off one, trying to play it into the channel. He's picked off by Radcliffe, and Rocker can break. Now with Riley. Riley tries to switch it over the head of Kringle. Hindle's going to chase. Hindle's going to get there. Kept it in. Great play from Hindle, who gets the cross into towards Rocker, who's an inch away from connecting and turning that one in for 2 0. We told you there'd be goals, it's matched FM. We've had one. Will we get any more? Ashton are probing now. Cassani fronting up his man. Brings in Farmworth. It's a dangerous ball from Farmworth to the back post. It's a great chance for Regan. 
who came in unmarked and he heads wide. Great chance. Just seemed to me as though he didn't quite time the header right. Yeah, really good After strength. Need. Really good strength from Regan to, to see off fit and just gives him a shoulder barge and gets down the wing. It, it, again, it's a good cross, but... Uh, I think that was more the runners, wasn't it? Not making the... Yeah. Didn't make the right runs for him. Oh, he come off for Kasani. Kasani plays it into Brownhill. Brownhill into the penalty area. Smith with a chance. Smith with a goal. It's an equaliser for Ashton. That could well be the biggest goal in the club's history. And the celebrations show that. Brownhill got into the box. He pulled it back for Daniel Smith, who under pressure rolled it with his left foot into the far corner. And Ashton Athletic have levelled this cup final. Yeah, I think I think Bahomu was, was uh, ducking towards the ball as well that helped uh, the referee make his decision. Riley came inside and he's fouled by Holden. Interesting that there's no, it would appear there's no Radcliffe players ready to follow in on the ball. There's only one player even ahead of the ball. Just trying to work out, I think it, is it Zekov who's standing over this? I think it could be. No, it's not, he's just to the, to the right of it. I think it's Hindle. I think it's Jack Hindle standing over the ball. It's a four-man wall. Hindle strikes it and it brushes the top of the netting. Decent effort there from Jack Hindle. Oh, it's come kindly here. Great chance. They've won it. Ashton have won it. A mistake at the back. And I think it's Red. It, I think it's Lee Vaughan who's got the goal. Ecstatic scenes with three minutes to play. A slip at the back allowed the Ashton man in. We'll get confirmation of the goal scorer, but we think it's Lee Vaughan who has possibly just won this game for Ashton Athletic in the most dramatic of fashions. What have, drama. Who would have thought of this finish at half-time? Who would have thought of this drama that we've seen in the second half? It's been absolutely fantastic. There's only two players not in the penalty area as it's cleared. It comes for Raheem. Can he keep it alive? Raheem still gets across it towards the back post. The, ow! Oh, and it's, it's a foul on the goalkeeper anyway. It's a header. Went wide, but for a split second, I thought that was going to creep in, and I thought that Radcliffe may have saved themselves. But credit the goalkeeper, who, if he stays on his line, it's a free header at the back stick. And this could be Ashton's moment. So Martin Pearson to clear it long. And there goes the final whistle, and history is made for Ashton Athletic, who have won the most dramatic of Challenge Trophy Finals. A 90th minute goal from Lee Vaughan completed a comeback for the ninth tier side who have won their first ever major trophy at this level. They cancelled out a goal from Hindle on 57 minutes. Smith's goal on 70. Drew it level and then a defensive error allowed Lee Vaughan to score in the 90th minute to claim the victory for Ashton Athletic. To start off the presentations for this evening, made by the Partners Foundation, we want to welcome the full show of recognition, please, for this evening's four match officials. The officials for this evening.